The JIC's purpose is really to bring together buyers, sellers, like all the folks that are invested in the transactional process here and set some standards, right? As, the new, as new currency is proliferating throughout the marketplace, as all currencies are becoming new currencies next year, we need to make sure that we have agreement, right, across the industry on things that we don't want to compete on. We don't want to compete on how impressions are counted. We don't want to compete on um, how we think about reach or our big data, right, or, or, or these types of things. Instead, we want to leverage that to fuel, right, our activation, to fuel the things that really matter to us at Paramount. The JIC for, is a great vehicle. We're super excited for it because what it does is it allows us to collaborate in a way um, to set those standards and help drive the industry forward with a unified voice. How does that jive with what you're trying to do during the upfront where you're actually reusing some of these new currencies to transact? Yeah, so I mean, we certainly have an, an upfront strategy that we're rolling out this year um, around many facets, including, including new currencies. But again, that's where the JIC doesn't really play in, right? So the JIC is setting base standards for us, but we're still gonna compete on capabilities, on the ways that we can activate, you know, publisher to publisher, and buyers are gonna ask different things of us. Um, but the kind of the core piece of this, right, as we think about what the purpose of the JIC is, is we wanna make sure that the quality of the content that we're producing to drag in the amazing audiences that we can bring to bear is accurately measured for our end advertisers, um, and then the rest of how we're going to position that is, is an upfront conversation. You and some others, and you're, and you're, some of your peers are definitely making a point about what is premium content and what is not. Why is that so important? So it's important because there's been plenty of studies. There's all kinds of uh, evidence to show that premium content in that context that it drives in that viewing experience lends the premiumness to the ad experience in between that content, right? You want, when you are a premium brand, when you're selling your product to the consumers and you believe in, in yourself, you want that your advertising to sit next to content that we believe in, that we've invested in, that we've produced, and that frankly consumers can see the, the, the results of that effort on the screen. It's a serious, like premium content, pro professionally produced content, the stuff, the kind of stuff that we make at Paramount, it's a big deal, right? We invest a ton in production. That comes through the glass, that comes through to our audiences, and that has a halo effect and resonates with the brands that advertise with us. Lastly, is it gonna be, given the ongoing economic uncertainty, is it gonna be hard for brands to go beyond their the traditional demographics they're used to and really start pushing the envelope in terms of advanced advertising and data measurement? I would argue that it, the opposite should be happening, right? Because of the economic uncertainty, we should be looking to maximize every single dollar that advertisers invest in their marketing spend. And the absolute best way to maximize those dollars is through the types of approaches and technology that we've been rolling out around audience-based planning, around reach uh, optimization, around new currencies and big data measurement. It works better, and therefore it's more important than ever when we think about uncertainty in the future.